Some of y'all about to be real mad at me, but it must be said. Hey, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm back with a video I'm very excited to make. Some more K-pop hot takes. If you don't know what a hot take is, it's basically an opinion. But they tend to be quite controversial and savage. I posted a hot take video before on my channel, but looking back it was not controversial or interesting so here is a real one. If you're a person that can't handle bluntness, then you can just leave. Saves time getting mad at me in the comments. Anyways I really hope you enjoy this video. On to the first hot take. 1. There is nothing wrong with calling an idol ugly. I touched on this briefly in my one sentence K-pop opinion video and y'all did not agree with me and thought I was just trying to be quirky. Here's the gist. I don't believe that thinking an idol is ugly is bad. Beauty is subjective. You're lying to yourself if you think every single person you have ever seen in your lifetime is beautiful. It's just not true. You can call an idol ugly and end there. You don't need to elaborate on why you think someone is ugly. If they are ugly to you they are ugly to you. One time in my responding to your K-pop opinions video someone sent in an opinion saying that they think Irene is ugly. And that's it. They didn't elaborate they just said she is ugly. And my response wasn't trying to say they did something wrong. Personally I didn't agree with them but I didn't hate on them for their opinion either. I just said SM doesn't care if you think their idols are ugly. That's just the bare truth. Y'all need to deal with it. You're entitled to call anyone you genuinely think is ugly ugly. Just don't use it as an excuse to hate on them unnecessarily. And if you can, just keep it to yourself. I also don't think it should be normalized to call someone ugly. It can make them very insecure. But I also don't think someone deserves to be mass attacked for respectfully sharing their opinion on anyone not just idols who they think might not be that beautiful in their eyes. 2. Lyrics in K-pop don't matter. Call this boring and unoriginal. I don't care it's just the bare truth. Because despite what the lyrics of the song is, fans will eat up that shit like they've never ate before. Are you standing these K-pop groups for their lyrics? No I don't think so. Just look at K-pop from someone who doesn't understand Korean point of view. We don't understand what we're listening to but we eat it up anyway. Do you know why? It's because of the beat. The catchy Korean lines we get stuck in our heads. No one's thinking about them lyrics when listening to their favorite song. It's all just about the beat. You can have the cringiest lyrics ever and people will still hype up your song. Example. Savage by Espa and Money by Lisa. Those songs have the absolute worst lyrics I have heard in my life. But that doesn't matter as I said. Everything our faves make we consume with zero regrets. 3. K-pop scandals carry the industry. What do you honestly think K-pop would be without the scandals and controversies? Boring is what it would be. Now I don't know about you but I enjoy a good scandal from time to time. But I really dislike it when it's just baseless rumors made to destroy someone's career. Some people have literally no hobby so they decide to spread fake rumors on the internet. It's just disgusting. But I also think the scandals is also what is helping keeping this industry alive. Scandals give people things to talk about and have different opinions on. So it's never just we like this and that. I don't love scandals don't get me wrong. But really, could you imagine the industry without them? People would start questioning everything. No idol or group or company can be 100% pure like that. 4. Survival show's debut lineup needs talent, not potential. Take Girls Planet for example. Do you know how many talented trainees that were dropped just to make way for the less talented ones? I understand that people are gonna have a favorite trainee and vote for them no matter what. I get that. But they might have potential. But potential is not what we need. We need a trainee already polished and ready to debut. Improvement is fine. And seeing it makes me happy. But this is a fierce competition. And we are being trusted to make an ideal lineup. We can't just vote for anybody. Vote for someone you can actually see on stage. I know this might seem a little bit mean. But we don't want untalented people in the official debut lineup. Y'all will be voting recklessly and suddenly be shocked when they are weaklings in the debut lineup. Something similar to what happened to Eyes 1 and their filler members. 
Currently in my opinion, on Girls Planet 999, we have a decent amount of talent left. The last episode is fast approaching, so I beg of you. Please be careful with who you are giving your votes to. I recommend you to vote for good vocalists, but that's just my opinion, and I can't force anyone to vote for my favorites. Just do whatever you want to do, but be mindful as well. 5. Saying K-pop music sounds too poppy is stupid. Whenever I see someone using the song sounds too poppy or westernized as a way to back up their point of them thinking it's bad, it just makes me laugh. I myself have done this but I won't anymore. I've learned from it and won't be a hypocrite by using that again. But honestly don't call a song poppy. Because what did you want it to sound like? You are listening to K-pop. K-pop. It's just pop with Korean lyrics. So why are you getting angry at that? If you're so pressed about it, go listen to KRNB or K-Hip Hop. Stop bothering people with your lame ass excuse of saying the song sounds too much like a pop song. It's meant to sound like that. Just with Korean lyrics. Point. Fact. Period. 6. Infantilization is just as bad as sexualization. Whilst I do think sexualization is absolutely awful, I want more people to speak out about infantilization as well. Some people on the internet are so weird. You are calling literal adults. People that are older than you. Babies and people you need to protect. It makes sense to an extent but it is used in wrong situations. Yes your fave idol knows what sex is. Yes your fave idol knows what a relationship is. Yes your fave idol knows about their body. Stop labeling people as things they aren't. They are not kids. Don't be shocked when you find out that most of these idols be watching porn in their free time. Don't assume you know them. Because you don't know shit. Stan culture is already fucked up as. But not doing this can help you seem more sane. 7. Stop telling people who to stan or not. I really wanted to get this off my chest. So get ready for a shitload of rambling. Cancel culture annoys me so much. Especially if an idol offended a race and someone who is not part of the community starts forcing people to understand them. Keep your nose in your own business. It's okay to have problematic faves. As long as you hold them accountable. Look at me. It's the are my alt girl group and the alts of all the alts. And they haven't done anything I know of to make me turn against them. But then if you look at my alt boy group. NCT. That's a whole other story. I am very aware of all the shit they have done. I know and I am very informed, but I'm not gonna unstand them. Y'all can call me a clown or whatever, but their music is good. Do you really want someone to stand some Nugu group with bad music just because they haven't done anything problematic? Hell no. I would rather not be a K-pop stand than do that. Before anyone says anything, I am a black person. My mum is black and my dad is black. So coming from a black person's point of view, and someone who stands NCT, I honestly couldn't care less about what they have done. Do you know why? Because their personalities is not why I stand them. It's for the music. You might think I'm crazy, but that's just my opinion. I'm not gonna unstand someone just because you told me to. So don't tell people to unstand others as well. It's only your opinion of who you want to unstand or not. I'm happy with who I stand because I enjoy their music. I can already smell the edgy girl group stands coming to attack me from a mile away. But you know what I honestly couldn't care less. Now y'all better be happy I didn't come for any groups specifically in this video. Because you know I've got a crap load of tea on your faves. So if you want a part 2. Please like this video and share with your friends. Again I'm really sorry if this video offended you. It's just my personal opinion. If you disagree please do not attack me. We can have a respectful chat together in the comments. Or you can DM me on my Instagram. Link in the description. Anyways thanks for watching. Until we meet again.